Google Forms, creating a quiz. This video features how to use Google Forms to create a self-grading online quiz. For this assignment, you will use your AU Gmail and Google Drive account. Be sure to have your quiz questions prepared before starting. Begin with a blank form. You will be able to view your AU login details on the top right corner of the page near the menu area. Name your form by clicking on Untitled Form. Enter the name, Google Forms will save, and all changes will continue to be saved in Drive. Notice that the name of your form is now the name of your quiz. You may adjust your quiz name if needed. Continue to set up your quiz by selecting a color or a template. Remember that color and template should be appropriate to your quiz topic and grade level. If you're using a template, click, select, and you will wait for your template to load. Next, we'll take time to manage form settings. At the top of the page, choose the settings icon. In the general area, remove the check mark that says Restrict to Ashland University Users. In the Presentations tab, determine how the quiz will be presented and select appropriate options. You may choose to show a progress bar, shuffle question order, show the link to another response, and you may also update the confirmation message. The last tab is Quizzes. We will use this option to make your form a quiz. Decide what information your students will be able to view. Click to remove any or leave them all in place. When you're finished, save to apply. Add your introductory narrative to the form. Type in the description or copy and paste the text you have prepared for the introduction. A starting question is already in place. Click on the text to open the question wizard. The first question will be text-based, providing a place for students to submit their first and last name. Select Short Answer. Enter a question title. Indicate that it is a required question and further show description information. Note the answer key. Your name will not require any kind of answer, so the point value can remain at zero. To see how your quiz looks so far, click Preview. A new tab will open. Close the tab to return to your quiz. To separate the introduction quiz from the quiz body, we're going to add a section. Use the title area to present directions for your students. At this point, you will populate your quiz. You are required to have six questions using three different question types. A video and an image in the quiz section are also required. Types of questions will depend on the data you want to receive from your students. To add a question, select Add Question. Determine the type of question. This one is going to be a checkbox. Add the question and the options. To add additional options, click Add Option. Make your question required and then develop your answer key. Indicate a point value and select the right answer. Edit Question returns you to the form. The green check mark remains, indicating you have provided an answer for this question. Click Add Question to enter your next item. Use the same process to enter your additional questions. Determine where the required element of video or image will work best in your quiz. To include an image, select Add Image. Choose an image to upload. If the picture is not yours, be sure to include attribution information. This picture of the Brooklyn Bridge was found in the public domain. You may resize your image by dragging, and you may also set alignment. This one will be centered. This image will directly relate to the next question about the Brooklyn Bridge. To add a video, select the video icon. Search YouTube for an appropriate video or enter the URL from a YouTube video to include. Review the list 
and select Video. Hit Select to include it in your project. Enter a title for your video, adjust the size if needed, and choose the alignment. This video will directly correlate to the next question dealing with making steel. When finished adding questions, choose a destination for your quiz responses. Select the Responses tab on the top of the form. Choose the icon, select Response Destination, and create a new spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is created and linked. Click Open to view. Notice that all your quiz information is already entered in your form. Verify your form is accepting responses. It defaults to accept. If you click No Accepting, click again to accept. Create a link to view your quiz. Choose Send, click Link, shorten the URL, and select Copy. Open a new browser window and verify that this link works without any login required. You will also need to create a link for your spreadsheet. Return to Google Drive and locate your spreadsheet with responses. It will have the same name and include responses next to it. Select Share. Choose Get Shareable Link. Additional options. Anyone with the link can view. Save. Copy the link. You will use this link to submit your spreadsheet information. Once you're finished, use your form link to create three or more submissions as a student for your quiz. You will be able to view responses in two places. Select Responses within the form and view Summary in Individual Responses. You will also be able to view those responses in your spreadsheet. You may also choose Individual Responses. Remember, you will submit the form and spreadsheet link with responses, both are required to be publicly available with no login required.